Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your bonus read for Thursday the 8th of August. Um, just a reminder that I am going live on Facebook, so you'll have to whip over and like my Facebook page to be part of that on Sunday the 11th of August and I'll start at 9 o'clock. So if you're interested, hop out on over. Hopefully I can get around to as many card pulls as I can, um, but we'll see how we go. Alrighty, I am using the Rider Weight Radiant Tarot for this reading. I feel like I need to shuffle them a little bit more, so just... Okay, let's get going on this. All right, we do have the Five of Cups coming out. So the Five of Cups talks about regret and remorse, looking back at the past, feeling sad about the past and not looking forward to where two cups sit here waiting for you. So it's like you're concentrating on perhaps things you've lost rather than things you have in front. Sometimes this can be about like your negative thinking, being stuck in thinking that no longer serves you and trying to refocus your thinking on, on thinking. You're thinking on the future here. Um, we do have the Empress behind that. So um, the Empress talks about birthing new things, bringing new things forward. She is pregnant with awe and wonder and she is ready to birth something new here. Okay, Five of Swords coming out. So the Five of Swords talks of a victory where you haven't really won by doing this, but it had to be done for some reason here. The Five of Swords is a funny card. It always has a very strange energy to it, depending where it's falling. But um, I know a lot of uh, readers see this as being, you know, selfish because now you have all the swords, but it never feels like that to me. It always feels like you've, you've got something, but now do you really want what you've got? But there is a victory here. So somehow or another in all of this, and it's coming through with these new ideas, walking away from things that don't serve you, letting go of your past here, there is a victory. And I'm going to sneak a peek. <laughs> um, some sort of offer coming in from possibly a, an earth sign. So we're talking Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. Um, some sort of offer being made as a result of you letting go of the past and perhaps birthing something new here is bringing in something new. Some of you could be a job. Um, it could be that you have changed sort of your direction. Maybe you've been called by the universe to move in a different direction. The Four of Pentacles coming out first. So the Four of Pentacles um, is about not... I always see this as not connecting because of the fact that the pentacle on the head stops the head chakra from working, or the crown chakra over the heart, so the heart chakra is not being connected and not being grounded. So sometimes I see this as not being grounded to your environment or your spirit. It can be that you've been hanging on to money very tightly and you're unable to let it go. Maybe you have a fear of running out of money or not having enough. This also can be about hanging on to past ideas, thoughts, things, and not being able to let go of these past ideas that are keeping you bound. Um, we have the Seven of Wands coming out here. So the Seven of Wands is definitely standing your ground, defending your position here. Mm, defending your money, perhaps. Maybe this is why there's, look, Three of Pentacles coming out here. Um, for some of you, I feel like you're embarking on something here and you either have a fear of not having enough resources but this card sort of says to me you're fine you'll be able to work on what you need to do this looks like it could be a relationship for some people having a fear of moving into a relationship but you're fighting you're standing your ground here the ace of swords is coming out here Oh, it's my favourite ace. I love the ace of swords. This is about speaking your truth, forging ahead, having clarity. Someone's got clarity here. Someone has clarity around moving ahead either on a business or a new adventure, new job. Um, there's no need anymore to worry or fight about what's going to be there. The universe is providing here. There we go. So there is stability here. 
So this is someone's fear of moving forward. They could be hanging on, yeah, look, we have the Nine of Swords. Someone has a lot of anxiety about moving forward on something, a lot of anxiety. Some of this can be financial, but some of it can be around um, old beliefs, old fears, old worries here. Okay, I just had a little bit of an epiphany moment there. Oh, God, I love it when they do that. Page of Swords coming in. So someone's definitely here had their eye on the prize. They've definitely known the direction they want to go in here. They do want to speak up and they do want to say their truth. They are ready to move forward here with this Ace of Swords. But up until now, there's been a fear of not having enough, this fear of or lack this lack mentality, this being stuck in this idea of how things should be. Look at this. This is a pretty heavy reading. Eight of Swords coming out and then being followed by the Ten of Cups. So it's like going from absolute fear to absolute happiness here. Oh, very nice. And then we have the Tower. Okay. <laughs> what? The readings have been so heavy this morning. Um somebody is moving somebody has an opportunity to move away from the past they're leaving behind things that no longer serve them the five of swords says to me that they've just regardless have had to give things up in order to have the sons there in order to have um absolute happiness so i have here that people have been sitting in situations because they felt either that they couldn't move on or they had a belief that they couldn't move forward and they've hung on to past fears, regrets, remorse. Um, and so with this Seven of Wands, it's like you've been fighting for something all this time that you are now going to have clarity about. So it's like you have stability here, but you've had to wade your way through a lot of responsibility to get to a point of happiness. There's a definite feeling here that the universe is trying to break down this idea of lack or this lack mentality you have. So if you've been in thinking of embarking on a new business, if you've been thinking about sort of taking a new career, um, moving into a new relationship, whatever it is for you, the universe is saying you can let go of these fears here. And I think they're pushing you with this tower now. It's like... I don't want to say you don't have a choice. It's like you feel like you do have a choice now. Whereas before you felt tied in this very um, anxious energy. It's like you're getting clarity enough now to move forward on whatever it was. It's like you're letting go of this past crap that's hold you, held you back. This idea you didn't deserve stuff. This idea that it wasn't coming to you. Um but you're able to let it go now and move forward. I'm going to put some clarifiers on here. Yeah, look, victory. Victory after being in this. Okay, so you're going from this to this. It's like you're going from muddling, confusion, having to sort of just completely take time out of the world into going into complete clarity here, completely understanding the direction you are moving in. Letting go of all this old stuff that's held you back here, that's giving you sleepless nights and stress and worry. The Six of Wands is here with a page of cups. Some of you here want to have a relationship of equal give and take with the King of Cups. So this is someone who's got their emotions in order here. Um, this offer is coming in. You're getting back here what you've invested you're finally starting to understand that you can get back what you invest in something. But for some unknown reason, your old fears, this is fear. This four of pentacles is fear, fear of moving forward, fear of, fear of taking chances, fear of taking risks. And this page of swords is saying you need to take the risk now. There's victory here. Let go of all this stuff that's held you back and move forward because something is coming in here, some sort of offer that's going to be life-changing here. And yeah, there's the full. <laughs> that's it. Um, so there's a brand new start coming out of fear of moving forward, but it's letting go of these fears with this tower. It's letting go of all these things that's held you back like you have this great clarity coming in now and that's what I love that you're moving from the four of swords energy into the ace of swords energy 
because you're backing it up. You're dropping the past. You're dropping your mistakes. You're dropping all the things that you didn't get right in the past. All the things that you thought you were. Everything is going here. There's like a complete rebirth with the Empress. So you're taking on something completely new here. And I have two cards that want to come out. So I'm going to read both of them. Um, let's put our little, our little um, easel out here. So let's read the Andean Cross here first. The Andean Cross announces the start to a great journey. It's time to raise your gaze from the mundane day to day to which that up until now has seemed beyond your grasp. Well, that makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? Allow new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it all before you respond with a resounding yes. Nice, nice message. And then we have the Time Master. And I'm not even sure I've seen the Time Master before. So I guess it was his time to come out. Okay, when the Time Master visits you, he asks the most important question. Will you break free from limited course and effect thinking by moving beyond the linear illusion and welcoming the cycle of the cyclic quality of time? Wow. You find yourself in a moment when the wheel of time turns and you're able to influence the past, thus changing the present and future simultaneously. This is the true test of the Time Master. You're being invited to take back your power, so let go of the past and choose to step into your life. In this moment, you are all powerful. You are the time master. Anything is possible now. Wow, I couldn't have thought of a more appropriate card for that reading. So there you go, guys. It's going to be a really, really big few days for many, many of you. Much love. Take care. Look after yourself.